little box there let's say uh, with this pointer I can I can actually select it and, and maybe delete or something it's just a general pointer tool the identify tool is really cool that's where we're going to be able to see information uh, about something you know what the underlying database information may be associated with a, a part layer or a center line file I'm going to click that tool and right now it's set to topmost layer and that's going to be the default and I'm just going to go ahead and click on the screen we'll see what it gives us here right away it picked uh, the landmarks <coughs> area that's Hamlin Junior High School it's actually labeled here Wow Hamlin Junior High School yeah that's just by using the identify tool I'm going to click next to that on the park uh, there's South Ropes Park it's another layer All right it's a local park layer the other one with landmarks but it's basically finding the first the first layer you can find uh, and it's, it's going to that layer and finding what information we're clicking on. Right, identify yeah. tool, no matter where you are, it identifies a parcel, a road, yeah. a polygon, a point. Yep. And here, here, here's the street center line right here. I'm going to see if I can catch that. Just get right on it. It got it right there. That's Carmel Parkway. Wow. I know where that is. Um, even though the street's not labeled, this information is lying underneath there. And actually, when we zoom in, that's the information they use to, to label some of the stuff. I'm going to zoom in here to this Carmel Parkway, Carmel Parkway. And there it is right there. There's some label. That's awesome. So lots of data here in the street map data. We're going through a few of these tools. Um, this next tool is, uh, and actually with the identify tool, we'll, what we'll go over in a little bit is uh, how to add uh, hyperlinks. Uh, it'll be in here. We're going to go through that in a second, but right now we're going to go ahead and go through a few more of these tools and then we'll, we'll get to the hyperlink. Okay. Uh, the binoculars, pretty, uh, pretty pretty universal now in many, you know, most software. Right, any it, Windows based program. Yeah, most Windows based programs have, yes, a, have binoculars and that's, yes, that's to find something. You know, what do we want to find? Um, you got all, you got a, you can, you can type something in here and let it just kind of do a global search in all the layers or you can pick a layer. Let's say you had a survey layer or a, some other layer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scroll down to, uh, oh, how about to the state capitals, state province capitals. Let's see if we can go to the, maybe this one here. I'm just going to type in Austin. We're just going to see if there's any, how many, how many Austin capitals there are. There it is. Austin. Not sure that's Austin, Texas, but we're pretty sure. Uh, well, let's go find out. It, it found one Austin in the state cap in the state capitals layer. I'm going to right click on there. And I'm going to say pan to. Okay. And you can see the little earth is spinning. And it's still spinning. I'm going to go ahead and let it finish drawing. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. And I'll go ahead and close it. Looks like we're in Austin, Texas. Uh, let me go out. Let me use my little scale here and go out to a little bit better yep there's 35 Robert most dreaded highway yep. <laughs> drive on now it's gotten a lot better I've done a lot of work out there but we're in Austin Texas and right. that's, that's the fine tool you can actually use that tool on any layer you have and it's going to basically search one of the underlying uh, data tables that's in there Wow Really powerful tool. Uh, there's also places you can look for. I'm clicking on the places tab. This is going to take a little bit. Yeah. You can look for a place name. And I'm not going to go through a lot of this, Robin, just showing the, That's fine. the ability of the software to, to find something. Right. Well, again, as you know, you are very fluent and very, you know, you've been using this stuff for over 10 years. and the whole point of doing this is even though we've gone through the five steps and we've also uh, included the database which uh, is just part of it's a very big part of GIS by doing this overview our goal is to make people's comfort level like myself a surveyor who uh, has not really used much software other than coordinate geometry and CAD uh, GIS is not CAD 
Well, we're going to show folks eventually, and when we get to layout, how you can actually you can plot, you can send out maps out of ArtMap and ArtView, but just to give people a better comfort with the fact of avoiding being overwhelmed, because that is, I think, one of the biggest challenges that we surveyors have sometimes is we look at GIS, we know we hear all the bad stuff, but we don't really hear that much about the good stuff, and that's our goal in showing you this overview is that anybody that has any background in cartography or mapping or surveying is not going to have that hard of a time picking up. It's pretty intuitive. That's right. Thanks. And, and what, what we're going to do here, Robert, I demonstrated this Zoom previous tool. We're in Austin, Texas now. Got there using the find tool. I'm going to hit that previous button a couple of times and get us back to New Aces County, back in Corpus Christi. Yes. Uh, hit it again. And back in Corpus, there's a Carmel Parkway here, and let me just go out using that little zoom tool, scale, scale to scale bar. Um, now what we're going to do, Robert, we've got, we've got a base layer in here, and now we want to, we want to pull some project data into this project, you know, mm -hmm. I'm comfortable with this centerline map, and it's got parts, and much of the information I might need for a making a map, but I want to bring in some of my project data. So uh, what I'm going to do first, well, I'm, going to, I'm going to pull up a, uh, a uh, an Explorer window, Windows Explorer. I'm just in Windows Explorer because I wanted to demonstrate there is a, uh, in, our, in our survey projects folder, in our project 090901 field folder, the, the text file. And I just want to demonstrate it just to file it's got some information in there uh, X Y Z and a description and a point number um, we're going to demonstrate right now how to bring this X Y data into the map and put, pull some points up and symbolize them uh, the first thing I'm going to do though I'm going to open this this particular text file in Microsoft Excel I want to add a project number and we're going to use that project number for something a little bit uh, when we, when we do what's called a join Right. And that join is going to allow us to uh, basically merge our point data with some, some tabular data that basically describes what happened here. Right. And we go through this in step three in hyperlink and also. But, and one thing to let folks know before you, or as you're going into Excel, you can see that text file with the point number and everything, easting elevation and all that stuff, uh, descriptor. You can go in and type the project number right on here. every line yep. if you were kind of like me. However, with computer background skills and programming skills like you have, you know a much easier way. And take us into Excel and show yeah, us. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and open that with Excel.